What's up guys, Kara Corey here from Kara Corey Fit Life. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and if you want, hit that notification bell so that you get notification of all my upcoming videos. Now for today's recipe, I'm going to bring you another vegan recipe. Lately, a lot of people have been emailing me and have been going more towards a plant-based diet. So one easy way to start making the transition to, in order to go more plant-based is to incorporate a vegan protein. And we're going to use the Pervitam vegan protein today in chocolate. And this is hands down, I don't have to say this, the best tasting vegan protein I've tried to date. So if you guys are looking for a vegan protein that doesn't taste crappy, it tastes good, this is a great way to meet your protein needs and slowly transition to more of a plant-based diet. So today we're gonna make a chocolate coconut overnight oat recipe. So this recipe is gonna be something that we're gonna make up today, but I would suggest leaving it chilled for at least four hours. I like to make it the night before and then bring it with me to work the next day. It's something super simple. You can throw it in a mason jar. You don't have to be fancy like that. You can put it in Tupperware if you want, but it's very easy to eat on the go, whether you're in the car, you wanna eat after your training's completed. This is great. And I like to eat mine cold because a lot of people ask that and I just prefer it chilled. But if you're someone that wants to heat it, you can. I just like it chilled. So very simply, we're gonna mix all our ingredients in one bowl. And what we're gonna start out with is some um, cashew milk. So like I said, this is an all vegan recipe, so I'm choosing to use the cashew milk. And we're gonna use one full cup of that. Mixing into that, I've already got it mixed, I've already got it measured out in my measuring cup, so we're just gonna mix everything in there. We're gonna add in there some old-fashioned oats. I prefer to use the old-fashioned oats because if you're letting it chill and absorb into the liquid, it just stays a little thicker and heartier. But you can use quick oats as well if you want. Um, we're gonna use a half a cup of the old-fashioned oats. I'm just gonna dump that into the milk. And then for the protein, I'm gonna use one full scoop of the vegan protein, which does give us 21 grams of protein. So I've got that measured out, and we're just gonna dump that in there as well. For mix-ins, you guys can play around with this, but I do like adding chia seed when I'm doing overnight oats because again, the chia seeds, when you let this sit in the fridge overnight, expand. So we're gonna use a tablespoon of the chia seeds, which also give us a good source of fat. Um, great thing about overnight oats is they end up being a really complete, balanced meal with a great ratio of carbs, fats, and protein. And I find when I eat something like this, I am full for hours. So if you know you've got a busy day, you're on the go, you're doing Christmas shopping, or running around, this is great to have with you. So we're gonna go ahead and just stir this up for right now. Next, we're gonna add two tablespoons of cacao powder or cocoa powder, whatever you have on hand, this is unsweetened. And this is just gonna give it a richer, chocolatier taste. You're gonna notice too, as we're mixing this up, it's not gonna be super thick. So that's why the essence of this is letting it sit overnight because it'll really thicken up. So this is not something you can really mix up and eat right away. If you were to do that, you'd really have to adjust the amount of milk that you're adding to this recipe. Now to sweeten up our overnight oats a little bit, I am gonna use a sugar-free syrup just because I wanna watch the amount of carbs I'm adding to this, but you could use a pure maple syrup if you want. And I'm just gonna add two full tablespoons of this log cabin sugar-free maple syrup. Lastly, to top it off, I am going to do a crank of this Himalayan pink salt. So we're gonna mix that up one more time and then we're gonna add it to our mason jar. Now you might be asking, where's the coconut? You forgot to add it, but what I'm gonna do is slowly add into the jar um, some of the overnight oats, and then I'm gonna do a couple layers, adding in some of this uh, sweetened coconut. I'm gonna do one tablespoon of that, and then I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of these slivered almonds. So I'm gonna do a couple layers, and start to pour that in. I'm just measuring out at probably a heaping tablespoon of the coconut and the almonds. And go ahead and just add the rest of your oats to the jar. I'm gonna add one more layer of coconut and almonds. But it's gonna be that simple. You 
you've got an easy, complete meal ready to go. Just throw it in the fridge overnight. This will thicken up. All those flavors will absorb in and you can enjoy it. Super easy. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. We'll see you in the next one.